Hello everyone, let me introduce myself. I am Facundo Carvajal and today I will show you how to use Truffle with React. I am particularly using Next.js but it will work if you use any React framework or just simple React. I remind you that you have a resume of this video on my website and the link will be in the description of this video and you know if you like this video you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel too before i start like always creating a react project in this case i'm using next and typescript for this project but if you use a different framework or use javascript it will work the same as mine Obviously, we will have to install Truffle Suite, which bring us a lot of cool tools to work with smart contracts and the Ethereum blockchain. Inside of the folder of the React project, we will init our new Truffle project. This will create new folders and files that we will modify in the future. Now, we will use Ganache an app that runs a local Ethereum blockchain on our computer and that will save a lot of time to us while we are creating our dApps. Once we have Truffle and Ganache installed and running on our computer, we have to config our Truffle project. In the file truffleconfig.js we will find an entire file commented. Search the development section and uncomment that. Checking an ash the port that is running on and we modify the port in the traffic config file. Finally, search the compiler section and uncomment all the settings. Change the optimizer to enable and comment the environment version. Now that we have all the config done, we can create some simple smart contract to check that Truffle is working and we can talk with our smart contracts. All the contracts that we will create have to be inside of this folder called contracts. We create the most simple contract ever. Just have a simple public string variable that contains my name. Once we have our smart contract created, we open the migration folder and we open the only file inside of this folder. In this file, we will have to add all the smart contract that we want to use. All called and executed in the same way. With the migrations file done, we can compile our smart contract using the command truffle compile. After that, we execute another command truffle migrate dash dash reset, adding the smart contracts to the local Ethereum blockchain that Ganesh provides us. Truffle, by default, will use the first account on Ganesh. Therefore, this account will cherish all the costs that deploy this contract generates. Finally, we can check if all of this works. To do that, we will use the Truffle console. It's a JavaScript console. And we create an instance of our smart contract like this. We can see how it stores all the content of our smart contract. Now we have access to all the public variables and functions of our smart contract. Therefore, we can store in a variable the content that returns the public function name. In that way, we can see how effectively we store Facundo, my name, that we have indicated in our smart contract. Well, that was all and you know if you like this video you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel too see you later and 
good luck with blockchain development.